and these uh, kids and, and, the, and the community members, not all of whom are students, uh, really go out of their way to support one another. It's very close-knit, it's a tight community, and for this to happen is a real tragedy. This right now is the time to focus on their loss um, and uh, it, it, the vigil last evening was so powerful to, to hear the tributes. Uh, let's not forget these young men and women uh, who had so much to live for. Our roommate happened to be at the 7-Eleven, uh, which I believe was the third or fourth scene, and uh, he um, had been present about 20 seconds after the gunman had left, and then he came running back, and then the bullets just started going off from there, and kind of just kept going for about another, I want to say like five, ten minutes, so maybe even less. Uh, by the time he got back, and about 30 seconds after he got back was when the gunfire started about two blocks from here. And then uh, that's when the officers came running up the street and had asked everyone to kind of get inside. And so we uh, we took like five or six people that were walking down the street and we, you know, to take them inside. And then we kind of hunkered down until we sort of had an idea that it was all clear. You know, we're going to get through this and that we're not going to forget the people that died and, um, you know, we're going to remember the six gauchos who passed away and not the gunmen and sort of that was our biggest thing and um, I don't know, it's, it's really hard. It's, I think our community is really screwed up over it.